Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. This is episode 40 of the Randomizer series. Uh, I feel like I should have, like, fireworks or something going off and being like, Woo! Episode 40! We made it! Woo! But <laughs> this is episode 40. We've done 39 of these already, and it's still super fun. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still having so much fun with these. This is basically a website I use. It'll be linked down below. You go to this website, you can click on a re-randomize button. It'll give you a randomized loadout of everything. The killer perks, add-ons, offerings, everything. So we're going to do it. We're going to see what we get. We're going to try our best to get value out of any perks or whatever that we get. And hopefully we don't get completely shit on. And let's just see. Bam. We got Bubba with, okay, Undying Lullaby Franklin's Tinker. This is interesting. I mean, the fact that we had another perk, the fact that we got Undying and then also got another Hex perk is kind of a miracle. Tinker on Bubba is actually pretty good. He's probably one of the killers that uses Tinker as best. Franklin's is one of his perks. So I guess that's cool. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird to use on dying for lullaby because lullaby is like the worst hex perk in the game. I feel like, like, oh boy, I'm gonna keep lullaby up, and any survivor that is actually looking at their screen is still gonna hit skill checks. Oh no, um, 100% more deviousness. Oh, poggers. Um, although, hey, I will say that maybe this actually is a good combo because on dying, because if, if I can get a bunch of stacks of lullaby, then they're gonna be really focused on doing skill checks, which means they're not gonna be looking out for tinker. Maybe this actually is good. Hmm. We'll see. Um, we got Begrime Change, which makes them drop their items. So we don't really need Franklin's. Hmm. So no matter what, they drop their items. Whether we M1 them or Chainsaw on them, they drop their items no matter what. We also got Shop Lubricant, which uh, makes it so that when Donna can start with a Chainsaw, no other survivors in your tear radius will help. We're, we're, we're sorry. While, oh, sorry, draw, downing a survivor with the chainsaw while no other survivors are near terror radius will hide the survivor's aura for ten for 20 seconds. That's interesting because if I have Tinker and I have no terror radius, then I guess it doesn't no matter what, right? Whoa, this is kind of cool. Let me go put this together. This is kind of interesting. Okay, so here's what I think is interesting about this. Like, now that we're looking at it again, dude, this is why randomizing videos or, the, or these randomizer videos are so cool because I feel like I sometimes, like, discover things that I've never really even bothered to, like, look for, you know? Like... For instance, like, this is, like, obviously I don't think this would be, like, a meta thing or something, but, like, the idea of, like, making skill checks hard and then trying to sneak up on people with Tinker is kind of cool, right? Like, this is a cool combo. On top of that, this is also kind of a cool combo. Like, th this add-on, already, I just kind of, I think I blew over this add-on when I first saw it. Down on a survivor with their chainsaw, well, no other survivors in your terror radius. Like, that's so weird, because how do you know that no other survivors in your terror radius, right? Like, this is such a weird, I guess you run Infectious Fright, is how you know. So this one is such a weird, a weird add-on to even have. Like it feels like you basically need to have infectious fright to even get value out of this. Otherwise, how the hell would you even know? Um, but also it's kind of weird because even you have to jump through a bunch of hoops just to hide their aura for 20 seconds. Like it doesn't even permanently hide it. It's like you'd think it would permanently hide it or something. Kind of like knockout. Or at least hide it unless they get to a certain range, kind of like knockout. It feels like the knockout add-on, but it's like a worse one. But anyway, the idea behind this is that Tinker actually makes this more doable, right? Because it's outside of your terror radius. But if you don't have a terror, if you don't have a terror radius, then everybody is outside your terror radius. I mean, hell, even if they're right beside you, they're outside your terror radius. So like, yeah, that's basically a way to guarantee value is like being undetectable. Um, but again, even the value you get of it's kind of not that good anyway. So I guess does does it matter? I don't know. Either way, I've been looking for an excuse to play Bubba more recently because I think he's a fun killer. So this is a pretty good one. Let's just go play it. Let's do it. Iron Works of Misery, baby. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so like always with Bubba, I think I might need like one or two chainsaws to warm up, but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I said that last video and then I ended up doing pretty good even without the warm up. So maybe, you know, but I'm probably jinxing myself right now. Hey, dude, what up? What up? What up? What up? Where are you going? What you doing? Where are you off to? Do you have an item that I can make you drop? Doesn't look like it. Or is that a key? Are you holding a key? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, not quite. Damn, there was someone else here too, dude. The whole fucking squad's here. The entire gang. I'm just gonna hook this guy real quick because these guys are probably not gonna be very fast to catch. So I'm just gonna hook this guy real quick and that way we can then chase him around afterwards. Wait, why am I seeing your aura right now? Wait, why was I able to see his aura just now? Oh, because I'm undying. There's probably a doll totem up there. Oh, also that Sabo was actually pretty legit. This guy might wiggle now. I'm pretty sure this guy is gonna wiggle. Wow, that Sabo was actually super legit. I'm gonna be real with you. That was a good Sabo. Um... Man, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy. Is he booning? No, he's not booning. This guy's got nothing. He's in a dead zone. And also, we can get that toolbox out of his hands. Um, Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead, kid. You're dead. You know what you are? Dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. Deader than shit dead. You have any of your friends around here to Sabo, huh? Any more Sabo gamers, huh? Don't look like it. I think we're good. Come here, friend. 
Come here. Enough with your sad little shenanigans. I cannot believe that this entire corner of the map is a dead zone, by the way. Like, what is this? I think there's a pallet right here, but yeah, outside of this pallet, this entire corner is like a death area, dude. He is booning. No, stop that. You bitch. Surprise! I'm the hive of chainsaw. Surprise! Oh, that guy was already on that guy was already on the run, but that other dude had no idea. Um man, I hate this boon spot, dude. Okay, here's my hot take, YouTube. Here's my hot take. I don't think boons. I, sh I shouldn't even say boons. I should just say Circle of Healing. Because I think Circle of Healing is the only boon that anyone even gives a fuck about. I don't think Circle of Healing is even that big of a deal. I don't think it's even that OP. I think it's, like, pretty good, right? It's a good perk. But I don't think it's that OP. Except when there's a fucking totem spawn like that one, dude. Like, that Ironworks of Misery spawn right there. Like, that upstairs spawn where you have to go so far out of your way to get rid of it. Is such a pain in the cahoots. It's such a, it's such a pain in the bazingas. That, like, that makes it pretty much OP, in my opinion. But, like, as long as you don't put... As long as you don't have a bullshit totem spawn like that... Like, I think what makes boons OP, in my opinion, is totem spawns. And not the actual boon itself. That's my opinion. And you know what? Maybe I can make a whole video on that someday if you guys really want... Or if you guys really care about it. If you guys really want to make me... If you want me to give you, give, give you like, a hot take video where you guys can all make fun of my bad, my bad takes, I'm down to do it, but... Let's figure out throw it out there. I hate that boon spot so much. Hey man, what you guys doing, huh? What you guys up to? Having yourselves a good old little unhook? You guys having yourselves a good old little unhook over here? Is that what's going on? Where did I down the first guy? <gasps> it was over here. It was over here. It was over here. I remember now. It was over here. It was right into the doorway, right? You should get healed. Oh no, not like this. Oh, not like this. I mean, I could 4K them, but I'm going to take a second to hook this guy. I kind of want to like, I'm going to be real with you. I wanted this build to work a little bit more. So I'm actually going to let them unhook a little bit. I wanted to see if I can get Tinker to proc a few more times. Especially with uh, Hunter's Lullaby active a little bit, right? Like, I want to, like, let it play out a little bit longer. I was kind of excited about this build. I don't want to just, like, 4K in two seconds. That's hella boring. Weren't you the guy that was hooked? Are you going to DS me? You might DS me, right? No. No, you're not going to DS me. Okay. Well, I'll take you over here. That way you don't die immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want more chances. Also, we, we, we have Lullaby ramping up, right? Like, we still have our Lullaby up. Maybe if they broke our Lullaby, maybe then I would have been like, fuck it, and I would have just killed him, but... Dude, we still have so much more game to play, you know? Hey, man. What you, uh, what you doing? What you, what you up to there, friend? It's me, the killer. You know, the one with the terror radius, the one that makes all the noise that you should be afraid of? It's me, I'm that guy. It's me. I put him up. That guy's dead. Oh, no, he's dead. Sad. Okay, we'll try to get this fang. Well, this guy looked like he was getting ready to double back. Yeah, hey, man, what's up? What you doing? You having yourself a good old vibe here? Nice dead heart. Oh, no. This poor guy. This poor guy, dude. I didn't even really want to chase him, but he, like, made that so obvious. You know what I mean? He made it so hard not to. What are you going to do? Probably throw this? You're not going to throw this. Interesting. You die here? Oh, she dead hearted for it. I don't even think she had a dead heart for it. I'm going to be real. She might not have even had to do that. I missed the vault like an idiot, and now she has so much distance on me. I almost had her, dude. I almost was able to body block the other side. That would have been dirty. That would have been Joe Dirty, dude. Is this gen still regressing? I wanted this to get back below Tinker level. Okay, it's definitely below Tinker level. That's all that matters. I just want Tinker to be able to activate on it again, possibly. He is taking me the whole way around the world, dude. We're going on a world tour right now. That was his lullaby, I think. A failed skill check. Is she going to vault in? Probably, right? Yeah, she's vaulting in. <laughs> All right, we'll put her up on the hook. I only have five hooks, and we have someone dead. So have I not hooked this guy? I guess I haven't, right? Or is it the Michaela that I haven't hooked? There's somebody here that I haven't hooked. I think it's the Michaela, actually. Didn't I hook her in basement or something? I can't remember. Man, these guys are... These guys are goofing up like crazy out here, dude. Biffing up all the skill checks and shit. I think... I don't even know if, like, Tinker's gonna come into play because these guys might just be failing skill checks like crazy. Something tells me this might not be, like, the cleanest matchmaking in terms of, like, fairness. These guys might be on the newer end. They might just be fucking up... They might just be, like, straight up fucking up uh, skill checks without really, like, any... Any, like, third-party, you know, thing causing it. They might just be messing up the skill checks with, with, with uh, Lullaby, you know? Which is fair. To be honest, that's fair. I, I also fuck up lullaby skill checks quite a bit, but it's usually because I'm reading chat, you know, while I'm live. So that's my excuse. I don't know what their excuse is, but that's mine. Oh, apparently I haven't hooked her yet either. 
Oh, yeah, because the, the Adam was on Death Hook. So, yeah, you know what? Her and the Fang were both not hooked yet. Oof, dude. Oof, I'm a dirty tunneler. Oh, God, I'm a dirty, filthy, good-for-nothing tunneler. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Do you think he's... Uh... I was say, I wonder if he went upstairs again. I know that's where he, he went up there at one point. I downed him over here earlier. Uh, I have no idea where he is. This was a dominating game. This like this felt like we just had kind of bad matchmaking, honestly. Like I kind of found them immediately, like within like five seconds of spawning in, and then I just started snowballing like right from there, like right from the get go. I started snow. No, I, I got too much of a belly, dude. I'm, I got that dad bod holding me back. Hold me back. Look out! All right, well. Hey, I mean, apparently this randomizer build is a uh, god tier, according to this result. According to our one-for-one -one result, god tier build literally unstoppable. New meta, baby. We found it. GG's. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Not too bad. I mean, their builds are good. I just think it might be, it might have been like a bad matchmaking in terms of like hours and stuff, because this was... uh. Not the greatest. I mean, this game in general, like, I feel like we just kind of annihilated them with not even really the best build. Like, they died at five gens. So, that's a roughie. That is definitely a roughie for sure. Um, GG's. We'll go back to the randomizer and see what else we can get. Well, I done goofed up and I accidentally closed it in between games, uh, which I'm, I try to not do because I like to... Okay, this might be seem little to me, but what I like to do is I like to come back to the second rule with the first rule's build still here. That way people know I'm not cheating, right? People know I'm not just sitting here clicking the button over and over again until I get a good build and then like pretending like that was the one that I got, you know? But this time you just have to trust me, I guess. Or maybe I'll just get a shit build. Who knows? But I, you know, we'll just see. Bam! Plague with Thrilling Tremors, Dragon's Grip, Thrill of the Hunt, Deathbound. Like, this is this is a pretty dog shit build. I don't think anyone's going to believe that I cheated for this one, right? With 100% bonus blood points and deviances again. And what's what's this one do? Survivors who cleanse all fountains have their orbs revealed for... Wait. No, survivors who cleanse at fountains have their orbs revealed. And, oh, the prayer the prayer tablet fragment thing. Um, Interesting. Uh, This looks pretty bad in, like, every way. This looks bad in, like, every, every way. Let's go put it together. Okay, so there's a lot to say about this build. Like, this is, like, the worst of the worst. And th you guys can definitely know for 100% fact that I'm not cheating because there's no way in fuck I'd ever want to play this. This is goddamn awful. Um, so, first off, Dragon's Grip is a perk that makes people exposed. But the thing about the thing about Plague is that you kind of injure people passively with your power anyway. So, like, exposed feels, like, pretty bad on her. So, already, that's horrible. Throw the Hunt is usually something that's used to counter boons in the current day and age. Is like, its primary use. Or it's used to protect totems, but there's no other totem to protect. And also, boons don't matter against plague because they do basically nothing because you know, just, like healing doesn't matter. So also completely useless. Deathbound, generally one of the most useless perks in the game. If you guys have watched my my tier list videos where I go through and I talk about the different styles of perks, I shit all over this perk in basically every video because it's terrible. So these three are all just horrible perks. Throwing chambers is kind of okay though. I'll say throwing chambers is the one perk in this build where I'm like, you know what, this is actually pretty okay. But even that, it's not, like, amazing. It's just okay. Um, we also have the Prayer Tablet Fragment, which is an add-on that changes your power entirely. You, you can't puke on survivors themselves. You can only puke on objects. But then the objects stay puked on for, like, significantly longer. And also, uh, like, the, they get infected faster when they work on them and blah, 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 blah. And this one makes it so when people cleanse, you see their auras, which is not that big of a deal. Because if you're paying enough attention, you can see the fountain spawn, so you know where they are anyway. But maybe it'll help a little bit. Maybe I'll get some value out of it that I didn't, that I didn't recognize. The one thing this build does have going for it, look at the bottom line of this one. Increases Divas' blood points by 100%. Now look at this. Oh, baby. Grants 100% bonus blood points in Divas. Dude, I mean, this is the best build we, that we've ever had. Ever. Look at that fucking synergy, baby. Best build we've ever had in a randomizer ever. Let's do it. Hey, we got her map too, dude. Pog. Home field advantage, baby. That's what you love to see. Okay, so let's do this. Normally, when I play Plague with this add-on, I usually have Corrupted Revention, so you only have to puke on four gens. And then those P4, those those four gens stay puked on like basically forever. Um, but now we have more gens, right? We have all seven, which kind of sucks. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and you know, if I was smart, I'd maybe I just hear somebody. If I if I'm not mistaken, and if I was smart, I would probably Google this kind of thing before I say it, you know, because it's a YouTube video. I could just pretend that I knew instead of like taking guesses, you know. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure default sickness, like the sickness or default infection on objects. I think is something like 40 seconds, I think. Um, damn, I didn't get I didn't get that gen. I'm gonna smack her once, I'm gonna leave her alone. Uh I think it's like 40 seconds. I think. 
So I believe that this add-on would take it to 80 seconds. I believe. But I could definitely absolutely be wrong about that. I'm not 100% on it. So 80 seconds is a decent bit of time, right? Like that's, that's almost like a minute and a half. Like that generator there should probably still be infected. It, it looks like it is. So like, that's not too bad at all, right? Um, I'm just gonna hit him. I don't know what was that his attempt at was that an attempt at juking? I don't I don't understand. I just want to puke on that so that when he stuns me he gets sick. Uh, what the fuck does this guy think he is? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Who does he think I am? What the hell is going on here? Do you think you're in a fucking like a noob three montage or some shit? Is that what's going on? The fuck? You ain't noob three? The fuck? Get out of here, leopard print ace. Get the fuck on that hook. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell do you think you're doing, boy? Oh, oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Thrilling Tremors. I forgot about the perks that I had. Yeah, my only perk. My only perk that's going to give me any value whatsoever. I forgot. Thrilling Tremors. I never... I did puke on that one, right? I think that's... Have they been on that, like, this whole time? Oh, yeah. You're the one that's been sick. No, dead hard. We'll just smack him. The thing was over there, too. She was also injured, but... Yeah, she's gone. And she's gone. And she's gone. Also, deathbound. This motherfucker had power struggle, dude. Bro, I gotta start being. I gotta start watching out for this perk more, dude. I swear, there's been so many survivors lately that have that have been running power struggle ever since it got buffed. Cause it's actually insane now. Like power struggle, like you can have power struggle flip flop, and like, dude, like you see how long I let the, I let that guy alone? I barely even let them alone at all. Like I let that guy alone for like three seconds, and he was already able to power struggle me. That shit is nuts, dude. Like you you get the charge that you need like instantly. It's fucking bonkers, dude. That was a really good, that was a really good call there. He like basically banked on the fact that I wasn't going to actually go and he, he gets correctly. That was actually a really good play. See this guy, this guy's in a noob three montage. That other guy, I don't know about, but that, th this guy is definitely in a noob three montage for sure. This guy is a juicer. Um, I'm going to grab that puke and I'm just going to wander around with it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to wander around with it and see what we can find. But yeah, that sucks. I need to start watching out for that more. It's kind of a bummer though, because if someone goes down under a pallet, it's, it's hard to justify, like, picking them up right away, right? Like, you don't ever really want to pick someone up right away. You kind of want to, like, make sure there's no teammates around first. Generally speaking, you know? Um, so, yeah. Kind of rough. Like, I'm not really sure how to handle that situation, I guess. You know? I guess I just immediately pick up. I think there's a, I think there's some kind of a tech. Like, I think I saw someone posting, like, a tech on Twitter. Where you can basically, like, avoid power struggle, even if somebody has it, by, like, picking up. A certain direction and then also like immediately swinging or something but i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure how to do it that guy's dead wait i only hooked him once though did he go to struggle oh my god i'm actually a tunneler in this video i'm legitimately a tunneler in this video game right now that's the second person or that's the second time like the same thing happened last game right i got a guy out like right away and then the other dude was on death hook before i even hooked anybody else I'm a dirty tunneler, dude. I'm a dirty, filthy, good-for-nothing tunneler. I'm going to put this guy on this hook, and I'm going to go grab that puke. And then we're going to be good to go. We're going to be good to go. Hey, to be fair, though, like, look at this fucking build, man. Look, look, just look at it. Take a look. Take a goddamn look at this build, you know? If there's ever a time that I should be allowed to tunnel, this should be it, you know? Also, that's a joke. You're always allowed to tunnel. I, I shouldn't even bring up this topic, because I don't want to argue with people uh, anymore about it. I'm sick of arguing about people tunneling and not tunneling. I like to try to avoid it if I can. And for some reason, that makes people mad or something. And so, oh, she's actually right there all along. No, my throw of the hunt. No, you know what? I actually got throw of the hunt value because she did that. Her doing that actually gives me throw of the hunt value. So that's kind of okay. Like her taking the time to do that is basically the same exact thing as throw of the hunt value. So that's cool with me. Like she took the time to do it. So that's, that's fat value as far as I'm concerned. I just wanted to down him. I didn't really care about anything else about what happens. I just wanted to make sure he got down. I thought she would circle it, but she didn't. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's hook her. Okay. What I was wondering is... Yeah, I was going to ask a question, but it's a stupid question. Deathbound on Plague. Like, I didn't even really mention this when I was talking about the build, but Deathbound on Plague is extra stupid. I wasn't really thinking about thinking that hard about it because, like... You know what's funny here? I can wander around all I want, and if she tries to pick up the, the Dwight, I'm going to know about it she, uh, because she'll get sick. I guess it didn't matter because he had unbreakable. Yeah, he had, I should have guessed he had unbreakable, right? Flip flop, flip flop, unbreak it, uh, unbreakable power struggle. We know, we know three of his four perks. I don't know what his last, what his last one is, but that's that's three out of four. I should have assumed he had unbreakable. That's actually okay though. We got his unbreakable out of the way, so that's fine. We can get a hook on her. Um, she didn't get sick unfortunately, but hey, what are you gonna do? But yeah, Deathbound is even more useless than it normally is because of the fucking, you know, the fact that. No one heals each other. 
Like, no one heals each other against... Wait, what? Where? Oh, right there. No one heals each other against plague. No one heals in general, let alone each other, right? Like, it's rare to find somebody even healing themselves with, like, a med kit or something. It's even rarer, rarer. Like, it's even more ridiculously rare to try to find a survivor that's healing another survivor. You know what I mean? All right, she's upstairs in the building. See, honestly, this add-on is pretty nice for people like me who don't pay enough attention, right? Like, if you're really paying attention as a plague player, you can know what fountains are there. So when a new fountain pops up, you're like, oh, that's the fountain they cleanse that. That's where they are. But you guys know me. I notoriously don't pay any attention when I play games. And I end up, like, forgetting really, really obvious things. Okay, that guy's going to go for the unhook, but that's okay. I just want to get this guy. I want to get this guy, and I also got to be really careful with him near pallets. I got to remember that he is a power struggle gamer. Oh! Right, right, right. Mm, this pallet's gone, isn't it? No, it's actually still down. That's interesting. He should die here. Yeah, he dies here. I mean, he's not running dead hard, right? Like, there's... Like, I actually I actually have a lot of respect for this guy to be for being able to pull off that play. Because this guy is, like, willfully choosing to not run actual OP perks. Like, fucking dead hard. And instead is running, like, this meme meme build. And managed to get value out of it. So, honestly, kudos to Yeet forever, dude. He got... What the fuck? Dude, we just got <laughs> I was just talking about how Deathbound should never get value ever, and we just got value out of it. What the fuck? Dude, is this guy oblivious, you think? This guy's oblivious too, isn't he? Dude, this is actually Deathbound value on Plague. What? What world am I living in, dude? I think this is the guy that's oblivious, right? I think. Because I think we had the Fang on hook, and she got unhooked, and this guy healed him, right? If I'm remembering correctly. So I... <laughs> Did we actually just get deathbound value on Plague? It's kind of like hard to get deathbound value on any killer, dude. Like, it doesn't matter what killer it is. It's pretty hard to get deathbound value. But on Plague, dude, that is, like, literally unbelievable. I'm just going to keep grabbing Puke, dude. Mine's, like, still have... Mine still has plenty left to go, but I don't even care. I'm just going to grab more anyway, because fuck it. Might as well, man. If it's here, it's here, you know? Might as well get it. That's wild. That is unbelievable. Dude, we might get more value if this guy gets healed by this other guy, right? It's definitely possible. Well, not happening though. We'll just go back. We'll just go back. We're good. We'll just go back. Uh, who's that? That was Dwight, I think. Right? I saw a bunch of red. I'm gonna chase whoever this is. I think it's Dwight though. Yep, it's Dwight. He's over here. Hey, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Oh my God! I thought he was gonna try to stun me right there. This gets him, right? Yep, this gets him. He's also on death hook now, so he's Gonzo. This man is Gonzo. Goodbye, my power struggle gamer. I have the utmost respect for you. Uh, salutes. Nothing but salutes, my friend. You've made me proud. You're a fantastic survivor. This gen's being worked on, and the other ones are. Hey, yo, who's here? Hey, yo, who's here? Our red puke just ran out, but get sick for me. Oh, are you giving up? You're giving up, aren't you? Yeah, you're giving up, huh? All right, we'll kill her, and we'll see if Feng can get hatched. I don't know. I'm not going to let Feng get hatched. I'm going to kill her if I get the opportunity, but we'll see. Maybe she'll get it. I'm not sure. Um, up you go, my friend. Hey, I just realized the guy that we, like, pseudo-tunneled out of this match was the guy that went for that weird-ass play on me where I said he, that he wasn't in, in, a, in a Noob 3 montage. So, you know what? I feel less <laughs> I feel less bad about it now. That guy, was that guy was practically begging to die anyway. It's fine. It's fine. That guy was practically begging for it. You know, it's cool. Did they burn an offering? No. Hey, let's go. What's our, what, what's our door spawns look like? Okay, it actually sucks that I got this red puke right now. I really don't want this red puke. I want my regular puke. Because if I puke on one of these doors, it'll stay puked on for 80 seconds, I think, again. Anyway, I think. Which is a long-ass time. So I can literally puke on one door and then just stand at the other door for a while. And then puke on that door and I can, like, rinse and repeat. And just keep cycling by. But dude, like, it's so hard. Oh my god, it's so hard to get vision on these doors. She's actually probably going to get out because I don't have my green puke. Like, me having my my, my corrupt power right now is actually, I think, going to make me lose this match. These doors are so far. Oh my god, yeah, they're like light years apart. Yeah. Yeah, look, look, she's already out. She's like already out. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks hard, dude. Yeah, I needed, I needed my green puke for that. That's a bummer. Well, hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Outplayed by me having my power. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Yeah, absolutely hate to see it. But hey, I mean, that match went pretty well, too, considering how horrible the build was. And I'm, again, I'm blown away that we literally got deathbound value. I honestly maybe could have got dragon. I could have maybe got dragon script value at some point, too, if I really, really tried for it. But I didn't even really bother. And technically, 
technically we got Thrill of the Hunt value too because they did cleanse Thrill of the Hunt, which took them a long ass time. And I don't even know if they did that before or after before or after booning because they they booned at some point too, which also would have been Thrill of the Hunt value if it, if it was up at the time. I don't know. But either way, we got at least some Thrill of the Hunt value too. So maybe this build's actually OP. You, you love to see it, GG's. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. These randomizers are always so fun to make, man. Feel free to leave the video a like if you guys did like it. Helps me a lot with the algorithm. Gets more people into my stuff, which is always good. Uh, feel free to, to, to subscribe as well because I'm going to be uploading literally daily. So feel free to sub and pop back in and check out some more videos. And also, uh, I'm live on Twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv. So you guys can feel free to stop in and say hello if you guys would like. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. Until next time, I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya.